Hi, I'm Israel Barroso, together with colleagues from Civica teams here and from the Urban School, we are organizing this honor seminar. That is the first one of a series of seminars that are hosted by uh, all Civica partner institutions. So this cycle of seminars, they are uh, divided into two sessions, winter and summer. Sciences Po is hosting the first session of the winter. Overall, the goal of the honor seminars is to provide students with in-depth thought and with uh, skills that will be useful for them in their future careers, with uh, the opportunity also to reflect upon current global challenges, while at the same time promoting European values, which is at the core of Civica's mission itself. Our seminar here at Sciences Po has this dual goal of giving students the opportunity to engage with uh, experts in the field of negotiation, and on the other hand, uh, provide them with a set of skills that will be valuable for them in their future careers. So I'm Francesco Marquet, I'm teaching here at Sciences Po, uh, a course of European and international negotiation since uh, 13 years. Our seminar is dedicated to climate change negotiation and climate transition in the European context. What we did was to break the wall between research, teaching and practitioner. Because we had some uh, simulation exercises, of course, some lectures, but we managed to invite people that are negotiating those issues on the field. Notably, uh, one person from uh, an energy sector, from an enterprise corporate world. Then we had a judge on climate justice. Then we're going to have uh, a chief negotiation officer from a large organization. And then we will have uh, a former head of delegation at the COP. This dialogue between students, teachers and practitioners, I think is the additional speed and it's going to give uh, the innovation needed for increasing the learning experience of the students. I'm Henry, I study at the Hertz School in Berlin. Hi, my name is Amelie and I'm a first year's master's in Sciences Po. It is surprising sort of the amount of techniques and perspectives we're covering during the seminar and it's really um, sort of enriching to see everyone's uh, sort of prior experiences factor into how they perceive negotiation settings, what problems they're looking out for and how they come up with solutions to the problems we're being posed. I really enjoy the skills aspect to this program and the diversity of people that are intervening and how interactive it is. So there's first part that's more theoretical and this is what you should do in this situation and then a practical situation in teams. So that's nice. You're not by yourself discovering negotiations by yourself. You're with a partner or a, a team. So that's been really good. I like the practical aspect. I like the aspect of uh, meeting new people and having a diverse set of opinions from different disciplines and nationalities. Generally I would say also socially it's been really nice uh, sort of getting to meet people from other Civica unis and especially from Sciences Po. I think Sciences Po put an emphasis on interdisciplinarity so I think it's really nice to see it again and see it in practice as well and I really like the aspect of different schools coming so you give different opinions and you can really see that it enriches the the debate and the conversation. Personally what stands out about the seminar is that no matter what you bring to the table in terms of prior experience with negotiation with climate policy with urban planning, with the European context, there's elements of it that you will surely be able to use for your professional development, but also in an academic setting. My experience here at the seminar, I would definitely recommend other people to go, not just um, for the exchange and for the sake of actually connecting with your peers, but also for the rest of your academic career, because you're surely gonna learn something that's gonna be relevant to other sections of what you're doing, irrespective of the topic you're mostly interested in.